Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. It's Curtis and I am back today doing a cake tutorial. It's been a hot minute since I've done one of those and it's going to be another pop song inspired cake and it's by Camila Cabello. It's called Crying in the Club. I am absolutely obsessed with Camila Cabello. Like I haven't been this excited about a pop star in like since 2010 I think, like since Diana Vickers, like if you don't know who she is, like cringe. Um, <laughs> but anyway, like I literally have Camila Cabello like on my Google alerts on my phone, like I am that obsessed with her, like I want to know where she is, I want to know when she's performing, even though she's always in America, like I just want to know. I want to know when she's releasing a new song, I want to know all the gossip, like I want to know who she's dating, like I, I care for her, like I'm like obsessed, I want to be her best friend, like Camila, if you ever watch this video, like, I love you. If you don't know who Camila Cabello is, she was in a pop group called uh, Fifth Harmony. They had big hits with Work From Home and Worth It. And if you've not heard those songs, then like, where have you been? But anyway, she left the group back in December last year and she's been working on her solo album, which I've been like so happy about because she was like one of my favorite group members in the group, basically, like along with Lauren. And like, I just love her voice. Like, I love the way she uses it. And like, she is like the queen of ad libs. Like in all of Fifth Harmony songs, like she did like most of the ad libs and kind of, it kind of in my opinion, kind of carried the group vocally, in my opinion. <laughs> so this pop song inspired cake is probably the most blatant of all of the ones I've got like sort of planned in my head to do because I've incorporated some of her album artwork and I put that on screen somewhere. So I basically kind of painted on her her face which is like on the album artwork with some of the tears running down it and yeah it was really really fun to do it, I've um I've never really painted onto a cape before it was a little bit of like a oh we'll see what happens we'll hope it goes well and stuff and it did um not everything went 100% to plan with this cake but um I'm still really happy with it and yeah I'm gonna show you exactly how I made it so we're gonna go straight in there So to start off, I've got two six inch chocolate cakes, which I'm just leveling off and I'm going to cut in half. I added a little bit more chocolate cake mix to this cake than I usually would because I wanted it to be a little bit taller. Once I cut them into two layers, I then sugar syrup them so they're nice and moist because I wasn't sure how long this cake was going to take to make, so I made sure it was really, really moist. Because I'm going to be using some inverted drips for this cake, I'm going to need to cover my cake board with some parchment paper, which I've done right here. And I'm going to attach my first layer of cake onto this cake board with a little bit of Swiss meringue buttercream, which I melted some dark chocolate into so it would taste of chocolate. I'm just filling my first layer with some Swiss meringue buttercream and I'm just going to smooth that around with a palette knife. And I'm going to do this on every single one of my layers. I wanted to go for a chocolate cake because the song kind of has a little bit of a dark tone to it and chocolate cake's quite dark so it just kind of made a little bit more sense to me to do that. So once I've built up my cake, I then do a crumb coat. A crumb coat is just a thin layer of buttercream around my cake just to catch all of those crumbs. Once I'm happy with my crumb coat, I then pop that in the fridge to firm up. Once my cake's firmed up, I'm then going to do my final layer. So I'm using some black buttercream and I'm just going to apply that quite generously all the way around my cake. And I'm actually using an American style buttercream for this. And the reason why I'm using American style buttercream is number one, I find it a lot easier to dye black. And number two, I'm going to be doing some painting on a cake and it's a lot easier to paint on a cake using uh, American style buttercream. It just continuously smooth around the cake until it's nice and smooth and I'm happy with it. And let's get rid of that lip. I get my palette knife and I just bring that lip in. I then put that cake in the fridge until it was firm and I go in with my grey buttercream which is where I'm going to be painting on her face. So I'm just sort of swiping it on there with a palette knife. I want to make sure I'm creating a big enough space to be painting on so I'm going to be comfortable doing it. I'm going to smooth it off with the palette knife instead of a cake scraper because I don't want to scrape that grey buttercream all the way around that cake. I just want it on that one area. So then I pop that cake in the fridge again to firm up and then I'm going to start painting on the cake. I just sort of dot where I want the eye to be and where I want her eyebrow just to give me a little bit of a guide. And then I, uh, and I just paint the shape of her eye. So what I'm using as the paint is just some colour dust. It's just some black colour dust mixed with some vodka. Colour dust is exactly the same as luster dust, except that there's just no shine to it. So once I've done the shape of her eye, I then do her pupil. Next step was doing her eyelashes. So I, I do them quite thick at the end, because it's like that in the album artwork. 
but my next job is to do just the little details inside her eye. I found this quite easy to do because when I was in high school I always used to like draw like anime eyes and her eye is quite similar to an anime eye so this came quite easy to me. So once I've done the details in her eye I then go on to do her eyebrow just using little swipes of my paintbrush. Then I painted in where her hair would be. I then go on and paint in her nose. Originally I was thinking about doing her lips in the album artwork but I'm not a painting artist and I know it would have just been an, an absolute hot mess if I tried to do a lip. I just went with her eye and the nose so that's just all I was comfortable with doing to be honest. Now I just do some of the shadow which is just in the crease of her eyelid. I just go in and do a few extra little details adding in some more eyelashes. I then put the cake in the fridge until the black paint was totally dry. I then go in with some gold lustre dust and vodka. It's time to paint in her eye detail and to do her tears. I wanted to go for gold because it was going to stand out a lot more in the cake. And then once I've done the gold tears and the eye colour, I then go in and do some black tears because that's also featured in the album artwork as well. Once I was happy with the face, I then went in with my finger. I just literally just smoothed in and blended in the grey buttercream into the black buttercream because I wanted it to really look like it was faded into the cake, not like it was like some plastered on grey buttercream on there. Like I just want everything to look really smooth as if like her face was just sort of like, um, as if her face was just basically coming out of like some kind of fog. That's the illusion I was trying to get for this cake. Next we're going to start to do those upside down drips, so I'm making some Grenache here. I will leave the details of how I made this Grenache in the description box below. Once I've made my Grenache, I then coloured it with a little bit of yellow and brown food colouring. I'm trying to get it as close to my gold luster dust as possible so it will show up a lot better. Now to turn my cake upside down, I'm using a cake board covered with some parchment paper again. And I'm just going to flip the cake over carefully, just like Yolanda Gamp does with her cakes. Carefully remove the bottom layer. So for this cake, I'm just gonna pipe on my drips. And I put that in the fridge for about an hour so the drips would be nice and firm so I could start painting on. I'm just gonna paint in my drips with lustreless and some vodka. The reason why I want to go for upside down drips just to kind of symbolize the tears because the lyrics are kind of like let the tears lift you up and stuff so that kind of made sense for me. I want to do upside down drips as well because the song kind of has a, a melancholy feel to it because it has it's quite a dark sounding song but it kind of has more uplifting lyrics so I want to do something that you wouldn't really expect which is drips going upside down so that's what kind of symbolizes for me. Now I don't know if you can tell but my cake is clearly sweating, it's really perspirating, I have no idea idea why I've never experienced this in my life so, so if any of you like know why this happens I'd really appreciate it because it was like a really big like concern for me because the black buttercream was trying to seep through onto the grey buttercream and I don't know if you could tell but like the, her face has gotten a lot more dirty because of it and that was one of the things I wasn't 100% happy with with this cake. So once my gold drips are dry I then attach my cake board with a little bit of that grenache it's an 8 inch cake board and I'm just gonna center it as best I can and flip it over. I then pop that cake in the fridge until I'm ready to decorate. So I'm gonna be creating some candy melt decorations um, using some black candy melt. I don't know if you can tell, but these candy melts are clearly not black. They are clearly gray. I really wouldn't recommend my worst enemy to be using rainbow dust candy melt. I'm I'm really unhappy with them. But anyway, I melted them and I put it onto some parchment paper. So once I've spread it out, I then get some pegs and I create some texture. So basically the inspiration behind this candy melt chocolate shard is basically like, um, basically in the song, it has like a Christina Aguilera sample from Genie in the Bottle and she does this like ad lib and she's like, <laughs> like that, like I can't sing, I'm sorry. But <laughs> basically, whenever I hear that, I just want to do like a little like full on Shakira belly dance. Like, I'm like, yes. Like, that is what it's symbolizing. It sounds so cringe and everything, but that's what it symbolizes to me. And I also did some other candy melt decorations because I wanted to create quite a lot of texture at the top of the cake. Now, I was still really unhappy with the colour, so I went in with that same black colour dust and I just painted them in black because they clearly were grey and they were just going to stand out like a sore thumb on this cake, so yeah, I just sort of did that. And once they were dry, I also did some gold speckles all over just to give them a little bit more depth and something like, just to give them a little bit more depth and to make them a little bit more interesting. Now to stick my biggest shard on there, I actually dug out a little hole for it so I wasn't going to apply too much pressure. 
and I just stuck it in there and then it broke. So um, next time I'm just going to be using Wilson candy melts because the colour dust ones are absolutely naff. Anyway, moving on, I then put on my other chocolate decorations, well, candy melt decorations, and I'm just putting them wherever I think they're going to look quite nice. The reason why I want to go with lots of different sort of textures and different shapes, just because the song has lots of to me, twists and turns, and has quite a lot of texture, so that's what it's sort of symbolising to me. And as you can see, I also put on some macarons on there, which I painted gold, and if you want to know the recipe for these macarons, then I have got the recipe on my blog. And that's how I created this Camila Cabello crying in a club inspired cake. I hope you guys love this cake as much as I do and if you did then make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Both those buttons are just down there so make sure you click both of those and um, make sure you check out Camila Cabello, check out her songs, check her out on Spotify and um, iTunes and Tidal if it's still alive, I don't know, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> if you guys have any connections to Camila, can you like send this cake to her? Cause like I love her and if she knew I existed, like I'd just combust like of excitement. Like that's how much I love her. So like, yeah, if you could make that happen, I'd love you forever. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys next week on Monday with another cake tutorial or I'm not really too sure what I'm gonna do actually but yeah I'll see you next week on Monday so until then take care and I'll see you then bye